Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Megan and today I'm going to be doing a second trimester recap. So I did do one for my first trimester if you want to watch it. I'll put it up here. I'm currently 30 weeks, almost 31 weeks, so I'm in my third trimester, but I wanted to kind of capture everything that I experienced during my second trimester. If you did watch my first trimester video, you know that it was pretty rough for me. I had pretty intense morning sickness that lasted all the way throughout, and then I'd say maybe a month into my second trimester, but luckily things did wind down. They do say that second trimester is the golden trimester, and this is definitely something that I experienced and I feel so grateful for because when I was in my first trimester, I did not know how I was going to make it, but things really did look up in my second trimester. I had a lot more energy. I was able to eat a lot more and do a lot more things. So that was amazing, but there were still some symptoms that I experienced. So I'm going to go through the list now have my laptop and we'll just go through the list. Okay, so the first one, which was very unexpected, I think I touched on this in my first trimester video. Some of these are gonna be repeats if they're things I experienced in both, but hair loss, um, I don't know if it was from lack of nutrients or my doctor said that a lot of people get hair loss postpartum, but you can also experience it during pregnancy, but I was losing a ton of hair, and I don't just mean like clumps in my hands or in the shower, but I was starting to get a bowl patch in the back, and that did maintain throughout the beginning of the second trimester, but it winded down and I was able to grow my hair back, and I no longer have that bowl patch. So I'm very grateful for, um, and my hair has been growing totally fine since. Another thing were headaches. I had really bad headaches in the very beginning of the second trimester, but again, this is something that kind of died down throughout, so very grateful for that. The third one, as I kind of mentioned, is I was just really sick, um, but the morning sickness did die down about a month into my second trimester. So I'd say the first month it was just as bad as before of just constant throwing up throughout the day um but then i think the throwing up kind of went to more periodic where even this morning actually i threw up a couple of times and i'm in my third trimester but it was not a daily thing and i started to feel much better after that um okay this is a new symptom is round ligament pain this is actually very common in your second trimester but since during your first trimester you're not really growing or expanding you're not experiencing any pain in your stomach but as you start to stretch you start to expand i definitely had a lot of discomfort in my stomach this is something that was probably my main symptom throughout the second trimester of just like discomfort and not feeling comfortable throughout my ribs and my stomach and my lower like uterus area okay then i don't know if this is normal i don't even remember experiencing this but i i'm seeing it on my list is having a runny nose i guess i don't know that actually is what caused me to throw up this morning too i would say a lot of um snot running down my throat has been very very common i don't know if that's even related but I guess in this case, it was really runny and I was blowing my nose a lot. But I will say, yeah, having a lot of snot go down my throat was pretty common. Um, and then again, I know I mentioned this in my first one, but just kind of more of a gassy stomach and things getting kind of trapped in the stomach. Dry skin, I had really dry skin, especially in my face and my hands. I noticed this especially around Christmas time. I did go to a different environment, so that could have been part of it. But I definitely had to do daily lotion to help with the dry skin for a while. Okay, then the next one is insomnia. I would say my sleep has been kind of on and off my entire pregnancy. Where sometimes all I want to do is sleep and I could sleep hours upon hours a day. I think I mentioned in my first trimester video I had to sleep like 12 hours a day. Um, but then I go through periods where I can't sleep at all. Even if I am tired or I'm just not tired. And so that was something that... I definitely experienced, um, as I mentioned in the first trimester video, just upper back pain. This has subsided, which is ironic probably because they're not growing anymore. They've kind of settled. So I'm not experiencing as much back pain and also with feeling better the second trimester, I've been able to work out and be more active. And so I think just stretching, doing yoga, going on walks, 
and then working out has really helped with my back pain okay this one is like i feel weird sharing but i feel like i've had a lot of hair growth on like my stomach <laughs> but not like in a weird way i'm not like super hairy there or anything but i didn't have any hair whatsoever there before and now i have noticed that there's some hair in like the belly button area i don't know if it's normal not in my belly button just like around that area but yeah i don't know if it's normal but i wrote that down um something else is that i've had so many cramps especially when i'm walking or doing any kind of cardio like not a period cramp like a running cramp as if i were to drink water like if you drank a lot of water and then went on a run and you got a cramp it's that except i'm literally just walking on the elliptical or something very basic and not drinking a ton of water prior or during but getting like really intense cramps in my ribs it's the strangest thing um yeah I don't know why that is, but that's been very consistent. Um, so, okay, another thing that was new that I experienced a lot, I'd say this one mixed with the cramps and the round ligament pain were the things I experienced the most across the board for the second trimester, but heartburn. I actually went on a medication for this because I had such bad heartburn. I didn't know what it was at first because I've never experienced heartburn in my life. I just remember being like, why does it feel like I can't really breathe and my throat's like closing in and I feel like I'm almost like choking but I'm not eating anything and my chest really hurt. I remember thinking it was asthma related because I have asthma and so I started taking my inhaler which then made me even more paranoid because I was like, wait, can I even take my inhaler pregnant? Which you can. Um, I did learn, or at least mine was approved. Always check with your doctor if that's something you're wondering. But um yeah so i was taking my inhaler i was like why do i just like i felt like everything was getting stuck in my throat until i read that heartburn was a symptom i started reading what heartburn was and i was like okay that's exactly everything that i experienced <laughs> i had that really bad especially at nighttime before i went to bed every single day so as i mentioned i'm on medication but once i went through my medication it got a lot better and i didn't experience it as much Okay, this one is probably not pregnancy related, but I will share, even though it's really embarrassing, is that I noticed my first white hair. I don't know if that's from being pregnant, I don't know if that's normal, but like in here, it's like right there, not on the top, thank god, but like underneath. I have like a decently long white hair, which I'm only in my 20s. I don't, I don't feel like that's normal, but yeah. That is something that I got. Okay, a few more. Um, this one is just pain in my upper rib cage. I think my baby loves to hang out. Like, okay, you can't see because I'm sitting, but like right in my upper right rib cage. I swear she's like lying across my abs like this and has one hand in my uterus area and one up in my ribs, just like stretching it out because I'm constantly feeling poking in my upper rib. So that's been super interesting. The next one is just weight gain. Obviously in your second trimester, you're going to start gaining weight as your baby is growing and getting bigger. I really did not have a lot of weight gain at all until I would say 22 or 23 weeks maybe. I'm trying to think. I know I was at 20 weeks on Christmas and I really had not gained much or any weight at all then um and when i went to my appointment the week after they'd said i gained like two pounds or something so sometime in january i'd say mid-january which was less than two months ago i started to um gain weight and now i've been much more increasing with weight gain with like one to two pounds a week um of gaining weight which is completely normal but it was interesting because I thought it would be very gradual over time but really it was like I gained no weight at all for 22 24 weeks and then consistently now like one to two pounds a week since so that was very interesting and unexpected well unexpected at how like quickly overnight it happened not that I gained weight obviously I knew that would happen okay this one really took me by surprise 
It's not been more towards the end of the second trimester and has been very consistent in my third trimester is Charlie horses. Like every single day I will get a Charlie horse. Usually if it's during the daytime, I'll get it in the arch of my foot. And if it's during nighttime when I'm sleeping, it'll be in my calf. But yeah, almost every single day. And I know that having potassium can help with that. And so I've been drinking coconut water, having more plantains and just being more like intentional on potassium, potatoes, but it doesn't matter. I still get like almost daily Charlie horses, which is crazy. I did not know that was a thing, but the cramping in your muscles is for sure a thing. So that was interesting. Okay, a couple more. Actually, the last one I already mentioned. So we'll end with this one. And this one is kind of gross in DMI, so I apologize. But an odor in the breast area. And I looked this up to try to figure out like what that was. And apparently your breasts exude a smell that is the same as your amniotic fluid so that when your babies are breastfeeding they it's like a familiar scent to them and they feel comfortable and comforted from that but definitely have noticed that which is very strange and bizarre as well but yeah those are all of my second trimester symptoms um if you guys are pregnant or have been pregnant before if you have any symptoms i didn't mention definitely leave them below um if you have any questions about pregnancy or just anything in general leave them down below and if you like this give it a thumbs up leave a comment and hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one bye